I've been wanting to do Moliere for many, many years. Everybody in the French language speaking world knows about Moliere, just like how everyone knows about Shakespeare in the English speaking world. I think I must have proposed Tartuffe to Ivan and the team all these years, and I just never found an adaptation that I was happy with. Sometime last year, we decided to commission our very own playwright here in Singapore, Joel Tan, to do a contemporary adaptation. And what an amazing adaptation it is. It is one of the best scripts I've ever read in a very, very long time. I read a bunch of contemporary adaptations, read up on Moliere and his life. I mostly was thinking about what about the play would be as scandalous today as it was back in the 17th century, right? And how do we bring some of that danger back into this production? It's the theme of religious hypocrisy. It is a very, very current theme. Even though this play was written 400 years ago, this theme is still so current because we see all over the world conflicts, wars, battles, fighting over religion. Religion is such a powerful force and how when it gets into the wrong hands, how it can be used not for the best and not for the right purposes. Tartuffe is a man of many faces. He's a cunning con artist who worms his way into this rich family's household pretending to be a holy man. Oren is uh, a very, very rich man who's achieved so much. He is everything a man could possibly want. But I think he's at this point in his life where he's looking for meaning and purpose. Everyone thinks that Orgon is a fool, and yes, I think uh, he is in many ways a fool. But I think the trick to Orgon is to find uh, his humanity, try and understand how he actually fell for it. Orgon could be any one of us. One of my favourite things about this production is how it veers from comedy to drama at breakneck speed. Watching these rehearsals, I feel like and being tugged in and out of various states of existence. That feels really exciting to me and to see the actors throw themselves into it as well has been really delightful. The text is delicious. Every syllable is so finely crafted because Joel is naturally a poet. Like Tartuffe, the text turns on a dime. One moment there's comedy and hilarity, witty banter, and the next moment there's something real and honest and heartbreaking happening. This is a dream cast. Every day is joyful. It's a very, very intelligent company. And we're having fun at rehearsal. For this production, we brought in a very well-known actor and movement director. His name is Elvin Chiam, and I've always wanted to work with him and to have him introduce the world of Commedia dell'arte. He worked under Philippe Gallier, who is a master at this form. He's taught us many, many things that we found very useful, has helped us in our preparation. Comedy de Latte is an Italian physical theatre movement. We are also using Comedy de Latte as the base to help to find the physical language of the play. It's something to free the actor. For me, it's trying to let the actors going back into understanding their own body and having fun having pleasure to move their body. The comedy in this production spans the entire range from bedroom farce to very physical commedia dell'art to satire to parody. So it's actually incredibly physical. Your face is very tired <laughs> from pulling them. Your body is very tired at the end of the day. But we're learning to embrace the pain, the challenges and go. I think it is a bold challenging, thought-provoking, and also poignant production, which we hope comes across. I hope people will come and see the show. What they will take away with them, firstly, is two hours of amazing entertainment, but also a lot to think about. Come and watch Tattoo the Imposter. This is the first time in two years that we'll be playing to a full capacity. It'll be an experience that you haven't had for over two years.